Assalamu alaikum. Welcome in Karibuni to our room of Zanzibar's kitchen. So today I'm going to share with you my version of this beautiful wool bread that has been trending like crazy. So I'm going to start by preparing the dough and I have got one cup of lukewarm milk that's in full fat and I've added two and a quarter teaspoon of instant yeast, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, then we're going to add some sweetened condensed milk that's about a quarter cup. I'm making a sweet bread, a rich sweet bread. So to that we've got an egg as well that's in room temperature. We're just gonna mix it well to combine, make sure the egg has completely broken down. And some salt, I'm using sea salt, that's half a teaspoon. All right, so we're just gonna cover it and let it sit for about five to 10 minutes. Then after that, we are ready to add the flour. Now for the flour, I'm using three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I will mention it in crumbs in the description box below. Just gonna mix it and I've used half of it. Now you can use, you can add all of it at one time, but I prefer to use in installments because I find it easier and quicker to manage. All right, so now we're just gonna add the rest of the flour. Just gonna combine it to form a dough. All right, I'm looking for a nice soft dough that's very rich. So just gonna mix it. Now, if you have a stand mixer, you can use a stand mixer. And um, if you are comfortable in kneading in the bowl, you can continue, but I'm going to move to the flat surface. All right, so I'm just gonna put it together and then move to a flat surface. Now I'm going to add some butter or margarine, about four tablespoons. This is soft butter. I'm just gonna fold it in in the dough. I was looking for something very soft and uh, very rich at the same time. So we're gonna fold in the butter first, like that. Now, before I move further, I would like to make a disclaimer. I am not taking credit for this beautiful technique that has been created by a lady named Apron. She's an Asian lady who has a beautiful, she has a lot of beautiful recipes and she has got all of us crazy. This is my first time I'm preparing something that's trending. It's normally not my style, but I just couldn't resist. I just had to do it. All right, so we're just gonna knead this for about five to seven minutes. We don't want it to be chewy. We just want it to be nice and soft. So just enough to get the dough ready. Okay, so just like that, it's nice and soft. And then I'm going to put it in the bowl and you wanna make sure you have some grease to allow the dough to rise easily without sticking in the side of the bowl. Just gonna cover it and let it sit for about um, 30 to 45 minutes. It depends on uh, the heat in your area or up to it doubles in size, two, twice in size, all right? So now I'm preparing my pan. I have used a nine inch pan. All right, so we're just gonna grease the side. So our dough is ready and now we are ready to work. Okay, so I'm just gonna dust some flour here you really don't need to because this is a very rich dough so it doesn't really stick on the surface. Just gonna place the dough there and just uh, press it down firmly a little bit. All right, then we're just gonna divide this into five equal portions. And make a um, Make a bowl by 
pulling and pinching. It's very simple. Just like that, you pull and pinch and you pull and pinch and you get it together and continue with the rest of the dough. All right, once that's done, I'm just gonna place them in a bowl so that I can have some room and also remember to cover it so that the dough does not dry out, okay? So now for the rolling, I found out, because this is my second time in two days that I made this bread, that the size here when you roll, you don't have to measure it, you can just eyeball it, uh, is very important because you may end up with a roll that will not fit into the pan, okay? So I have rolled this into a three inches width. Uh, the length doesn't really make a difference, but the width, absolutely, yes. So just like that. And I have used uh, cream cheese. This is like the one you put it in the Danish rolls. I will put the ingredients in the description box below if you're interested with some apricot jam. And then I'm just gonna turn over and then just cut it into strips. Okay, you can cut the strips first and then do the filling and you can fill it with whatever you want. Uh, my first one, I did it with uh, raisin and cinnamon, but I wanted something more richer. That's why this one I'm using the cream cheese. So you wanna fold in the sides first so that your filling does not spill out and then you're gonna roll just like that and you get the strips on the top to give that beautiful wool pattern, all right? So just gonna place it and when you place it, you wanna put the sides to tilt inside a little bit to allow so that you have room for the other rolls, all right? Just like that. So now for the last one, I'm trying to create room there because some of them were a little bit bigger. All right, so that's it. I'm just going to cover it and let it rise. That should take about uh, 35 to 45 minutes. So now our dough is ready and we're just going to egg wash it. You can use uh, egg yolk. I happen to have uh, egg white. So I'm using the egg white because I use the yellow for my cheese filling. All right, please make sure that your oven is ready at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and this baked for about 20 minutes and it is so gorgeous as you can see. All right, so we're just gonna brush some butter to make the bread shine. And uh, it's very simple, but it, it's, it looks really amazing. So, um, yep, then you wanna let it cool a bit before you remove it from the pan. And also if you need to release the sides, you can use a butter knife or a spatula. And that's it. And now we're gonna get our bread out. And uh, that's it. Now, since I wanted a sweet bread and I have filled it up with the cream cheese, just wanted to dust some powdered sugar to make it extra beautiful. So thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to go to the description box and get the ingredients and the measurements, or you can make your own recipe that you wish, all right? So this is how it looks inside. And uh, it tasted amazing with the cream cheese and apricot jam. And uh, if you were to slice this, and I'll show you a slice how it looks like that you see you got the cream cheese and the apricot jam well so that's it for me today and i wish you a wonderful day thank you bye bye